Okay, this video is to show how you can go about making a copy of this document and submitting it once you are done with the assignment. So just by clicking this document, it's going to force you to make a copy. And when it says, would you like to make a copy? Just say yes. And once you do that, it's going to pull up your document inside of Google Slides, um, which is nice because you can use some of the features of Google Slides in order to do your work. So if I go back to my document, it says I need to choose 10 rules that I think are the most important to follow in a chemistry lab. And then I need to save that document and turn it back into this assignment. So if I come back here, we're still loading. Mm -hmm. And you should be able to see that this is the Flynn safety contract. So this is the same for most of your science classes um, and it contains all the most important rules you have to follow in the lab. So if you want to be able to zoom in and see it bigger you can use this little uh, zoom icon and I just like to drag and drop and I can see, uh, see it a little bit bigger. So let's just say I want to um, find one, let's see, that I think is really important. Um, well, I think this one about accidents and injuries is really important. Over here, um, I should report any accident or injury to my instructor. So what I can do is I like to use the shapes tool um, to highlight because it keeps it nice and neat and I like neatness. Um, so I can make a box around that rule and it's currently filled in so I can make it transparent. Maybe I want to make it a pink line so that my teacher can see it really well. And um, that's my highlighted rule. I think that one's really important. That's all you have to do. Um, other options, you could do a circle around it. You can make lines around it. Um, you can, un some of my students last uh, semester would like underline the rule that they thought was really important. Um, and just make sure that you kind of make it visible. So make it thick, make it a bright color. And that way I can see that you've highlighted 10 rules. So let's just say I got all 10. Um, and I'm going to uh, now make it a way that I can submit it for my teacher. So in this assignment, I can either submit a URL or I can upload a file. So let's say I want to do a URL. Um, that's just like giving me a link. If you just copy this link, it's not going to let me see it because this is now your private document. So you need to come into here and click share. And notice right now it says only people added can open with this link. And since I'm the only one that is added, I'm the only one that can see it. So you can change the link to Hamilton County Schools, and that means me with a Hamilton County School email address can see it. And you just copy this link. And when you go to submit the assignment, you can put your URL right here, and then I should be able to see it. Um, you can also upload a file. So what you would do, I would do for that, is to download this as a PDF. Um, that's the easiest file that my students have had uh, luck with uploading. So I can go to choose a file, and yours might look a little different because you have a Chromebook, but you would just add your PDF there and submit your assignment. And don't forget to click Submit. That way I get your work. So those are your two options. You should be able to get this little um, uh, little confetti when you know you've submitted. If you have an error, you can always come back here to resubmit. Um, and just keep an eye out for any notifications from me if I can't see your document. So remember, up here now it says anyone in this group with the link can open. But when you first create it, it's only you that can see that.